she got labor pains and she went to the block at the stand. She said to her, look, I have labor pains. She was uh, from Czechoslovakia and her father was a doctor. So she knew something about labor. Yes. And she, for miracles, got hot water. She got the scissors, which she, she brought, and a clean sheet. A clean sheet was such a miracle in, the middle in of Auschwitz. Auschwitz. It was unbelievable. And told her it was three. She was in. They were in bunk beds without pillows. I yes, of tell course. You. And she told her go on the third level. Mm -hmm. And uh, she came on, and without a word, she gave birth because there was kids there. Of course, of course. So I said, nobody knew I gave birth. But then two, three hours later, she had to go and stand up. Bell. And if she wasn't there, they searched the whole of barracks. Course. And if they don't find her in some way, then people die for that. So what did she do with you when she had to go to a She left me there. And she said the whole time she was just praying, I hope I find her, I hope I find her. So she came back and miraculously she had milk and she fed me, but she still had to go. All the time they didn't work, but they had to go twice a day to stand up hell, which was hours and hours outside in the snow without shoes because they only had these wooden uh, clocks, which was more dangerous than being barefooted because that was uh, slippery. Yeah, sure. If they fell, they got shot. What she said, what was she most afraid? First of all, they would discover me, but I couldn't cry. I had no energy. I was less than a kilo. I had no energy to die, cry. But the other one, she was petrified. There was rats around. Mm -hmm. And the rats were hungry, and she was petrified. They're going to bite me. Yes. So you were born at less than a kilo. We're talking two pounds, under two pounds, and you survived. How? Miracles. That's what she called it. Miracles, because I, when I asked her, how did you have clothes for me? What did you use for diaper for me? She said, you know, we've some some papers, we wrapped you up, and uh, some uh, torn uh, pieces. Then it was liberated, and then in uh, January 27, another baby was born. But it was uh, already a Russian doctor, and his mommy didn't have milk. A miracle. My mother was feeding too.